Hey guys, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's nail art tutorial, Becca will be sharing five fun nail art designs that use Sharpie markers. Let us know down in the comments which of these five nail art designs is your favorite. And now, on to the tutorial. Hey guys, it's Becca. Let's get started. I've already applied a base coat to protect my natural nails, as well as the first coat of polish. I'm using white as the base color for all of the designs I'll be showing you today. For the first design, we'll be making a sunset light gradient. First, you'll want to draw on a plastic bag with yellow, orange, and pink sharpies. Dip your paintbrush in some rubbing alcohol and swipe it over the orange area to transfer the color onto your brush. Once you've got the color on your brush, you can apply it to the nail. I'm actually using an orange highlighter here because I couldn't find an orange sharpie, but I found it works just as well, so if you can't find any sharpies in your house, then highlighters could be an alternative for you. After applying the orange to the center of the nail, add yellow near the tip of the nail and pink near the top. If you dip your brush in the rubbing alcohol and apply it directly to the nail, you can use that to blend the colors together a little bit to make a smoother gradient. Once you finish the gradient, use some black acrylic paint to make palm leaves. Paint the center stem first and then add leaves on either side. Try to make the leaves near the tip a little bit thinner and the ones further back thicker to make it look more natural. The second nail is probably my favorite design, and it's inspired by graffiti. Since we'll be using a lot of different colors for this one, I drew a square with each different Sharpie color so that they were set up like watercolors. The base of this nail is pretty fun because you can just add dots of different colors wherever you like. Again, you'll want to dip your brush in rubbing alcohol and then swipe it over a color patch to grab the shade. So you'll just want to put splotches of different colors all over the nail. It doesn't really matter what colors you decide to use for this, as long as you cover up all of the white polish. I started using some warm colors first, and then started adding cooler shades afterwards. Once you're happy with how the base looks, Add a crown over top with black acrylic paint. Once you're finished with the outline, fill the center in with a few coats of yellow Sharpie to finish it off. The third design is a bit more minimalistic. For this one, you'll want to start off by painting two right angled lines on the left side of the nail. Next, use black acrylic paint to make the outline of a leaf. Using the same technique as the last two nails, fill the leaf in with lime green sharpie to give it a kind of watercolor look. Add some darker green to the center and some yellow near the edges for depth. Finish it off with a white stem in the center and black lines near the edges of the leaf. The fourth design is watercolor flowers. Make a circular shape with the diluted pink sharpie and then add some darker dots near the center. Use less rubbing alcohol on your brush to get a darker pink shade and use that to outline the top edge of the flower. Add another flower above the first one. Add leaves using dark green sharpie. I also use some black sharpie near the edge of the leaf for shading. If you want to, you can also add some vines with some smaller pink buds on them as well. Once 
For this last design, we'll be making an 80s style print by using the Sharpies to draw directly onto the nail. Use four or five different colors of Sharpie to make a geometric pattern on the nail. Here I'm using pink, light blue, purple, and black. As you can see, the light blue Sharpie is a little bit less pigmented and doesn't draw on the nail as well as some of the other colors. This is something you might want to take into consideration when you're choosing what Sharpies you want to use for this design. Finally, finish off with a fast drying top coat to seal in your design and add a beautiful shine. Let us know in the comments below which of the five designs you like the best. You can watch more videos on Cute Polish by clicking these boxes here. Subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week by clicking this circle and come check out my personal nail art channel by clicking this circle right here.